hi everyone uh, here uh, today we just deal with the uh, thermal analysis on uh, circuit board that is circuit board cooling system how it works we'll see and these are the few things you need to remember here the heat sink and the resistor and op amp the capacitors they generate the heat and even coil will generate the heat so we'll set up the same thing i just downloaded this component from the wrap card and i made some settings here right now i need to create the leds so i'll just jump on to this and i'll create the leds with respect to this face so these are the two leds which i need to find one mm thickness should be more for these two I'll we'll fix them okay I'm done with the inputs and all. I'll just create the wizard with this In the wizards I'll just define the project name if you want you can change here the assigner it is with respect to SI I need the length should be in millimeters and the temperature should be with respect to degrees Celsius. And after that, by default, you need to define the material here. So I'll select the insulator as a material, as our material, as we are dealing with thermal analysis. I need to use uh, oh, there is an option called the thermal radiation or heat radiation we need to select it to get the results with respect to that we'll see how it works and here heat conduction I'll check this internal analysis I'm going to deal with uh, I'll use the standard air as my fluid here as you already know that in this material I'll select polymer no insulators by default I'll keep a diabetic no heat transfer between the walls and keep it same and the initial parameters I'll say we'll keep it same. Yes, I am done with my study. Mm, I need to define the materials for particular models and all. I'll just select this insert solid material. So even you can use the engineering database to define the material if it is not available over there. So I'll use this chart and here I'll define the capacitors as uh, Silicon. I'll just select these four. From the material, I'll define silicon. I kept this option. And these are heat sinks. For that, I think it's silicon. We check. Mm. Capacitor is silicon. Done. Aluminium. And yeah, these chips are gold. Which is gold with respect to wash it. Not this. sometimes this happens if wall is in middle even you can hide this I think yes. hide it and select otherwise by manually you need to select I think I have defined the capacitor silicon and this aluminium and this mm. I will define entire casing with steel if it is available let me just check Hmm. 
yes last one is this oh shit i need to define the pcb itself to why it should change its properties it is isometric you already know that and then with all the materials and then I need to define the fan insert the fan with respect to this I'll use select other find all the faces at once now one is done and again this one inlet fan I am choosing sorry external inlet fan means external fan should give the inlet flow fluid flow to me and I have to define the boundary conditions with respect to the face And then <coughs> I already defined the materials in order to define the mm, heat inputs. What and all the components, how much the heat generate, and what in the capacity, how much temperature they generate. I already defined them show you how it works how to define the heat as well as temperature to the particular components of C and select the heat it flux with respect to environment pressure here I'll keep the thermodynamic pressures sorry thermodynamic parameters that is pressure and the temperature as default now defining initial conditions is fine heat resources and choose volume so all the capacitors I'll choose I don't know how come will you select other itself for these capacitors mm -hmm. the capacitors are let's put a 45 degree I'll define it around uh, 50 degrees Celsius temperature sorry the temperature and I will define 50 okay I'll take it 60 no issues that is too much I think mm. I define the temperature for them so next thing is to heat regeneration rate for this as well as for this heat sink should be how much for aluminum it's uh, I'll define it 10 watt to get the good results final results at that location if you want you can increase more to get the final graph the results for our convenience and then I need to define these one two and three these are chips with respect to chip core chips the temperature should be more 
ici. Point five at. I think I have defined it. Let me just consider some random values, not exactly the same, as we are just practicing how to do these things and all. Capacitors is done. Okay, all three are done. Now she is with the heat source. Mm, I'm done with the temperatures and all materials also. Heat sink fans and all. It is fine. Yes, perforated plates I need to define here. By using engineering data, you can able to create the material. So I'll show you how to do that. So if you want to deal with solid materials. Can use user defined right click on it and use new you can define the material name as well as the properties as well as you need so right now i just want to deal with perforated plate i want to create the new one and close it user defined i already created can check these are the properties mm, diameter is 0 0.04 meter for me and the distance between two is 0 0.06 and the total area it will calculate automatically so once you define it you can able to assign it on this face so i click on the populated face and just select the face which on which you want to add it we'll take and I want to assign whatever I defined over there by user defined. So once you once you define all the conditions, mm, you need to define the goals here. So in the goals, I need temperature on the chips as well as the capacitors. Sorry, okay, it's still loading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I need to just define the insert volume goals. Mm -hmm. I need the temperature on what. this Are you, uh, this happens every time ok only on these two I need the goals ok once you define everything if you want you can just use the global mesh to remesh it you can use the mesh refinements but right now I am not going to deal with these all the things so I will just run the study now Yes, it's running here. You can check this. So it is preparing the model. So it won't. Uh, what I was saying, uh, uh, it won't uh, run only one iteration. It will run multiple iterations to get the converge results. So as you know, it's uh, about flow. So values dependent upon the 
uh, side elements so until and unless they become converged you won't get the proper results so we'll see how it works Yes, we got the solutions. If you use the more refined mesh, it takes around nearly 10 minutes. Previously, I just gone through that. I just saw that it took around nearly 10 to 15 minutes to solve the more refined mesh to get the better results. see the graphs here how they look how they are converged with respect to the required equations 56 iterations it took so once you are done with this you are free to deal with the results right now I'll just show the <coughs> results with respect to top lane pressure or temperature I'll take temperature as my reference and I should place the thing still down this was what you can do you can create the plane exactly on this session on this board to get the better results you know it's not moving As you can see over there, how the distribution is happening. Even you can use the 3D profiles to get the more final result. Increase this. And this is about counters. And when you can add the uh, stream lines and all, even you can define the uh, flow trajectories. So, how the flow is happening, you can select the inlets as well as the outlet. Like this. And then you can just uh, run the trajectory how the flow is moving and uh, how the coding process is happening you can just able to get this from this flow trajectory just show it once and I'll close the video so this is how we need to deal with circuit port cooling system I hope you got the steps and all so please follow the same steps and this is somewhat easier so if you just practice once and get to know what and all you need to do mm -hmm. as you can see this is how it's happening with respect to temperature if I define velocity to know when you can increase this when you can reduce the size of them make it 10 and if we animate them we'll get to know how they are flowing so for your convenience i'll just play them okay I hope the video was helpful thank you for watching please do like and subscribe our channel thank you all